Today is September 11th, my father's birthday. And traditionally, we go to Ilocos Norte to celebrate uh, his birthday with him in the mausoleum in uh, Batac. This time, since he is buried already in Libingan ng mga bayani, it, my mother thought it would be more appropriate that we spend the birthday with him. Nagpamisa ang aking mother ng alas 10 sa kanina umaga at nagdatingan ng kanyang uh, mga dating cabinet members, uh, yung siyempre lahat ng pamilyang Marcos at uh, yung ating mga kaibigan ng mga itinatawag na loyalista, nandun silang lahat at uh, nakakatunga naman at uh, sila hindi nakakalimot at uh, napakatibay pa rin ng kanilang suporta sa aking ama. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Holy Mass to honor the late President Ferdinand Edrin Marcos. Pagpatuloy lang po natin ang pagiging witness natin sa mga ginawa ng ating Pangulong Presidente Marcos at ipagpatuloy lang din po natin ang paniniwala natin sa patunay ng mga apostoles ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. mo talaga na ang mga tao ay uh, bukal sa loob yung kanilang pakikiisa sa pag-celebrate nito dahil na naramdaman nila ang uh, kagandahan ng uh, pamamahala ni Presidente Marcos noong siya ay nabubuhay pa at siya ang ating Presidente. Alam ninyo, kayong mga kabataan, hindi ninyo natatanda ng uh, nangyari sa kasaysayan ng ating bansa bago mag-martial law. Noon ay kasagsagan ng communist movement. Ngayon, kung hindi idineklara ni Presidente Marcos ang martial law dito sa ating bansa, noon, marahil ngayon ang naghahari sa atin ay si Jose Maria Sison. At tayo ay nagiging, kaga naging kagaya ng Cuba at kaya North Korea. Yan ang pinakamalaking legacy niya sapagkat uh, pinigil niya ang pagiging komunista ng Pilipinas. Kung siya'y nabuhay, this would have been his 101st birthday. Nagsalita nga ako, sinabi ko nakakapagtaka na kahit na after 101 years, eh, matibay pa ang pag-aalala sa aking ama at sa kabutihan na ginawa niya sa ating bansa. I was reminded that this would have been my father's 101st birthday. I, uh, it was, uh, I, I, I thought to myself, why, how is it that uh, after 101 birthdays, we continue to celebrate his memory. He is still remembered. You are all here. Despite the brick bats, the criticism, the pure hate that has been heaped upon him over the last 30 plus years, his memory, his legacy continues to endure. I look back and try to think how it is that that is. I believe that the reason that we continue to live his memory and his life within ourselves is because we continue to admire, to respect, and to believe his aspirations for greatness for our country. Ay, dahil naiba nga ang kanyang pag-iisip, dahil masyadong malalim ang kanyang pagmamahal sa bansa, eh, ginawa niya lahat para maging maganda ang ating Pilipinas. Ay, ni halal at itinanghal na Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Na Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Maalala ninyo yung libro niya, This Nation Can Be Great Again. 
Hindi lang hindi lang pamagat 'yon. Talagang paniniwala niya 'yon that we can reach that greatness. He always believed in his heart of hearts that the Filipino had greatness within. That was that was what he based his life on. And that's what we continue to try to do to honor his memory and to honor the Filipinos. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs>